Salutations, everyone! Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. I'm Lord Forum. It's here once again with Zach. And we're Hello. having a. No, oh, hi, Zach. Uh, we're having a duet over the bodies of our slain enemies. It, uh, welcome to our concert of old time battles. Skathor is poor performing old time battles, and I'm expertly performing it. No. They cancel out to make like an average performance. I guess they do. I'm surprised you can't play the drum that well, though. Um, anyhow, we are here in the Gauntlet of Char. There's a really massive Char statue down that hallway. Uh, well, we're looking... let's get a move on, I guess. Oh, wait, you don't want people to have to listen to our wonderful duet for longer? Well, you know, there, there's only so much, you know. There'll be more as the episode goes on. Uh, you know, leave them wanting more, you know that? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so there are a couple paths we can take here. If we go to the right, we run across the bit, the, well, one of the major bosses in the area in a very tough fight. We have to fight that person eventually, but I'm thinking if we go to the left first, which is where we're supposed to go, we'll get the XP to level up. Oh, well, we should do that then. Probably. No. So, yeah. We're we're going to be looking for this ancient altar's orb eventually. So. If not over, then through. Oh, hold on. There's a gilded chest back here. Gilded chest. Oh. Oh. Hmm. The least expected. When obscured in shadow. Oh. Hmm. You might want that. Hmm. On the other, yeah, I probably should have. On the other hand, that might force me to have to change up my build. Oh, to be more stealthy or something? Yeah, I've got, like, other ones that, like, help with that. Oh. I can... Oh, I had. I think I sold them. I may have gotten rid of them. Uh, still, while obscured in shadow, it's still pretty decent of a weapon. It's definitely it better. Is. It's better than what I have. On the other hand, I have the ability to cast magic missile with what I have. I mean, we have Gale for that, so. Okay, I will try this new weapon then. Least expected. Make sure I don't have a light source on me, and see if I can hide. The problem is, Shadowheart literally is a moving light source. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Uh, yep. Also, it's kind of hard to tell if you're in shadow or not. It is. It's not that obvious. Waypoint discovered. What are these rats doing? Um, well, you can, uh, I think I have speak to animal potion or something. There's... Hold there on, uh... I could study the rat's appearance or observe the rat's behavior. I'm slightly better at observing. How are you even able to do that? I just started talking to him. Yes. I failed. That's it. Uh, let me try. You failed to glean anything into rat. Yeah, I can't uh. study it either. Uh, there is a quest to do with the rat, but I doubt we're doing that. What what's that quest? Uh it has to do with the boss of that that guy I was telling you about who is terrifying. Oh. Uh. Um if we want we can try and do that. It basically involves interacting with lots of rat. Is this where that fight happens when you're fighting like fifty rats? Uh I believe so, yes. If you oh. wish to do that. Oh <laughs> I kinda wanna do that. Yeah, see, I've got another one that I get obscure, uh, plus one bodiness to armor class when obscured. Mm. I should probably equip that. Um, sorry, I'm just looking through my stuff here. I mean, yeah, getting AC is always good when you can. No, I have 17, so I'm not too bad. But yes. Oh, we got another fight here, I believe. Actually, no, we don't. We have ally. Okay. We have found Balthazar, I believe. I have something to ask. 
Maybe we can do the rat thing later. Um. Hurry inside, or your racket is liable to. That's not good. Rance the donkey scrotum! The quakes herald the shadows! It's already too late. We have another fight. Okay. Again, we want to destroy the umbral umbral tremors. Yeah. One down. Just a car avenger. Is it worth raging? I think so. Um, All right. How many more fights we're we gonna have? Cause I only have three left. Uh, you could rage here. At some point, we're going to have to rest in this area. There's a lot down here. All right. Time for a frenzy. Just remember, our goal is to kill the umbral tremors. I'll go for those first, then. Yeah. The more we can get rid of those, the less we have to fight in total of enemies. All right, that one's dead. And we'll go next to him, I guess. I mean, our, the allies around here are not entirely useless, just mostly useless. Most, yeah. They keep casting marks of putrefaction because that allows them to hit them with other... Um... Stuff. And that's all I can do. <laughs> The life of a cleric. Run up, swing your mace, and then be entirely useless for that rest of that turn, unless there's healing. Ooh, well, we that is mostly what Gale can do. Well, we have two. Yeah, but Gale actually does damage. Shadowheart. Actually, I did more than you did there. They're not going to go for that one, are they? Probably not. They're relatively incompetent. On the other hand, we did deal with most of the tremors immediately. But there are more. I'm gonna, should I take out that one by that altar area? I think I will. Yeah. Should I go for the Justicar guy? Oh, if you wanna, sure. Gale and Shadowheart are going to have to go for another Tremor. Well, what, we can like what we can see, ahead. the AIs are not going to be able to kill that Justicar Avenger. So I will. I could just crit him. It's up to you. Eh, not right now. Yeah, I can just take him out. All he has is four gold on him. Well, it is literally a reanimated Shadow Corp. So... Fair. Context, I guess? I'm surprised he had any gold. There goes the Charging Barbarian. At least they allowed the AI to be smart enough to apply marks of putrefaction. That is true. Gotta allow that necrotic damage. Oh, I forgot. Yes. Uh, we'll just throw another firebolt. Yes. And that's Gale's turn. You know, I'm wondering how this guy's minions have survived down here if uh, all they do is attack 
the spawned enemies rather than the spawners. <laughs> I know! Because you'd like, think it would just be an endless wave of shadows then. If we if we weren't attacking the tremors, it would just be endless. Pretty close. It's a friendly looking shadow. Oh, there's one right in the middle now. I don't even care to use a bonus action to attack that guy. You don't Can even I throw care. Him? I can't throw him. Where should we throw him? Let's throw him into that thing. I've always wondered what would happen if you throw a guy into, back into a tremor. That would be funny. You could try I it. I might have to do that. <laughs> Another tremor. Hey, Shadowheart's damage is increasing. She did 8 damage, now she did 9 damage, now she did 10 damage. Good job, good job. And Gil will hopefully finish it off. Yeah, because yeah. remember anything gets below a certain health, it explodes. True. Oh. So the other guy missed, and then he has disadvantage and is hitting me both times. Hmm. Somebody had to do some damage. Uh, I'm going to take out the one on the far side of the room if I can. Another day, another fight. Okay. As I walk really slowly up to it. Basically, every turn, I'm just going to kill a tremor. Hold on, I might be able to... Oh no, the path is interrupted. Well, I'm gonna throw him really far anyway. Huh. I have a blinding shot action that does 25 to 30 damage. Well, you did! <laughs> Apparently, the Deep Umbral Tremor actually counts as a solid object, because he bounced. <laughs> You just created a, awesome. a, a rubber Justicar. The rubber Justicar. Yeah, it wouldn't let me like target it because it, it said like path uh, block. It probably counts as terrain, that's why it bounced. Yeah, yeah. Also, the one in the middle is a deep one, so it's got way more hit points. Oh. I probably should have went for that, but oh well. To be fair, we probably should have tried to play this at a higher difficulty, so we are doing very well. Feel my mistress's wrath. A little late now, though. Okay, I should be able to get it next turn. Because, like, I kind of agree with that comment the other day that was like. We want the enemies to be harder. <laughs> I don't think we can. Uh, uh, we could up the difficulty. Should, oh. We could make it challenging. Maybe we should do that. Maybe but, we uh, should. We also are about to level up too. So. Okay, that is a big guy. Oh. I did not know this guy could spawn here. To be honest. Maybe we should have actually really focused that thing down. Or I could just crit for, uh... Half as hell. No, 57 damage. Breathe quiet. Move with care. be fair though, I could stand a slightly harder difficulty. I've been playing Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. <laughs> that is... This guy is about to die at opportunity again. Probably. Or close to it. He's got 32. Oh. Well. I can just counterspell him. What, what does Overwhelming Grief do? 
Uh, overwhelming grief is a 1d8 necrotic damage. Inflicts Call of the Dark Lady, which is... What does that do? Uh, if it starts its turn in a light, oily, or heavily obscured area, the affected entity takes 1 or necrotic damage. Attacks yeah. made by the Justicar deal 1-6. They can take the damage. <laughs> yeah. And also considering it's the, uh... The whatchamacallit there. You saw nothing, Zach. <laughs> nothing happened. Shadowheart did not just accidentally kill Steel. Yeah, Gale's upset. <laughs> I didn't think I would get 36 damage. I guess it was vulnerable to radiant damage, because that was a level 1 evocation. It probably was vulnerable. I mean, the most I could do would be 24, so it was definitely vulnerable. I don't think these guys are gonna get a kill here. Don't mind if I do. Try me. And battle over. Oh. Well, oh, that guy would have been helpful. Loot time. I'm wondering what that how, uh, Crusader had on him. Yeah, I'm looking. Nothing. Nothing. That's sad. That is. Well, there's a gilded chest here. Okay, is it this locked? I have the best loot. Well, let's see. No. Gold ingot, arcane cultivation. Yeah, take them all. Um, there's a locked here. door up there. Um, but let's let's end this here. Then we can decide if we want to up the difficulty. Because I think we should. At this point, we're wrecking the game. So. Yeah. Higher okay. difficulty next episode. Bye for now, everyone. <laughs>